individuals with asthma and acne will now be permitted to join the, the army, which could come as good news for individuals who have had asthma in the past. This obviously is a bit of a U-turn on what they've um, on the medical standards that they've had the last uh, well, considerable considerable amount of time, and it comes as the British military is really struggling to find recruits and the army is the lowest size it has been for the last 200 years which is with around 76,000 personnel which is a significant drop over the last few years. This doesn't necessarily mean that everyone who's got asthma is going to be eligible to join it will be on a case by case basis and I think if somebody has got real bad asthma or is currently suffering from asthma and having a lot of asthma attacks currently then they're probably not going to get in but it's more going to be for people who may have had asthma as a child and not had any incidences since and they've been able to manage it and their fitness is, is up to a, a certain standard. I mean with regards to acne, I had real bad acne when I was a kid I was still able to join the military. I don't know if it's just going to still affect, just affect the British Army or other parts of the Armed Force such as the Marines, Navy or Air Force. However the article I read just said British Army. Whether this will actually help with the recruitment crisis and the shortage of, of soldiers that they have in the Army at the moment, I don't know but it's certainly something they're looking at and I think there are more things at play as to why individuals aren't joining. However, there is also apparently going to be a 6% pay rise for them. So perhaps that could encourage people to join as well. Still, I think there are other factors to play, which is why people don't want to join the military and also why people are leaving in droves. Let me know, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. All the best. See you soon. Bye-bye.